and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what to prepare and what to expect for, if that even sounded proper, for the Blitz promo. Now, if you guys don't already know, Thanksgiving promo, the Harvest promo, comes in two parts. Technically, right? Everyone associates the Harvest promo with the Blitz promo because Thanksgiving night is Black Friday in real life. So in real life, Thanksgiving and Black Friday are combined. So Black Friday has its own promo for Madden. It's called the Blitz promo or the Black Friday Blitz, I should say, because there are other individual Blitz promos. Now, the way this works is that the Harvest promo usually starts around like the 22nd, which is when it started last year. And the Blitz promo will be the night or the day of around Thanksgiving is when that kicks off. Now, the Blitz promo is a unique promo, guys, and it has a lot going into it. And I'm not gonna lie, the Blitz promo is a money spender promo. The Blitz promo is a credit card cash cow promo. At least the first one. The Black Friday Blitz is a credit card promo. The other ones aren't that much as the year progresses. But Black Friday is what it is. It's it's an, it's a shopper's promo. It's a shopper's day. It's for shopping. It's for spending real currency. And trust me, to get the cards you're gonna want from the Blitz, the initial cards no. It's the master. The master is going to take hundreds of dollars. And even real YouTubers like big youtubers who make tons of money off youtube who do this as a job they even have to spend a lot of money to get them even they regret doing it so it's a tough promo it really is but there is a lot of cool things to it and a lot of cool aspects to get free players so for the no money spent guys it's a great promo but to come enjoy the whole promo you, you need to spend money that's the only issue like other promos like all halloween thanksgiving you can enjoy even without spending money but this one you can enjoy a little bit you can't take from but last year i got a free tyrant kill blitz out of it so like i really am i'm not complaining with how it works and it's just an add-on and the most important part about the blitz is going to be the special offers which i will get into all that as we get into this video but before we do make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys turn on the noting bell come join the family guys we're close to 12k subscribers so make sure you run with the sub button comment down below and boys as per usual you guys have been killing with the like button i did do the giveaway so check out the other videos today where i announced the winner mark hawkins if i'm saying his name right hit me up on twitter and also Guys, like I said, in the best feeling is when I start the video, I post it, and you guys, the likes are at 100 within the first five minutes, so make sure you guys are smashing. I know there's hundreds to thousands of you guys per day, so guys, the day we hit 1,000 likes is going to be the day that we break history on this channel, so make sure you guys are always running with the like button to see if we could potentially ever hit that, and guys, let's get into this video. So, where do we begin? The Blitz promo is the shopper's promo. It's the commerce promo, like I said. So, when the Blitz promo kicks off, there's going to be intervals. Last year, the intervals were 8 in the morning, 4 p.m., 12 midnight so what i'm saying by that is that they were the blitz promo is a bunch of limited time events all in one so there's gonna be limited time offers limited time solo challenges limited time sets so the way it works is day one of the blitz right when it first kicks off there will be a solo sequence that you can play whenever you know it's just like anything like with halloween and stuff you know there was the cauldron solos there's the day long solos you can play whenever and then there's the cauldron solos that are limited time so the way the blitz promo works is every I believe it was like every four to eight hours, depending on what interval they end up doing. Every between that period of time, you could play a limited time solo. So let's say it's eight hours in between. You have eight hours to play your four solos, and they were riddled. So these solos were riddled, which means that pretty much you have to decipher the riddle and figure it out. Now that's what the beauty of Twitter and YouTube is by watching us. We'll have the ready for you. We'll have the riddle ready. You'll see it right around here somewhere. It'll be like it'll be like blitz solos and then limited time blitz solos. So limited time will be like 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Those will be those solos. You got to play those, and they do give you blitz tickets don't get those confused with blitz cds last year blitz tickets are the tickets that you use to get the set players blitz tickets are the ones you used to get pay you get from packs now blitz tickets are like the common currency cd is the collected currency that you could use for the master but i'll get into all that so obviously the limited time solos you want to be playing them every day because if you play them every day for the duration of the blitz which i don't know if it's three to four days or whatever you play them every day and you save up enough you could get one free player which is how i got the free tyree kill now the beauty of the limited time events aren't just the solos Typically at each limited time event, they will drop things in the store. So like at 8 a.m., maybe they don't drop anything, right? Now at 4 p.m., you always want to be on the store, right? Because there's a thing called global limits. If you guys remember this from last year, global limits, to put it in best terms, is a limit on an item in the store. Now, that might not seem like a big deal to you, but every limited time hour, which let's say, like I said, 8 a.m., 4 p.m., 12 p.m., they will drop a limited time item in the store. Now, these items aren't what you think. They're probably a lot cooler than what you think. So I remember last year around 12 p.m. or whatever, they dropped a limited time platinum player pack. There was only like 10,000 available in the world. And those went like 10,000, 9,000, 8,000, 4,000, zero. Like that's how quickly it went. You had literally like 30 seconds to buy as many as you can. And they give you a five per person limit. And if you're even like 20 seconds late, you might not even get one. And the platinum players, you guys, just to let you guys know how awesome this was. So I opened up the platinum pack. It cost like 1,500 training. 
So make sure for the Blitz promo, the biggest thing you want to have is training on hand, coins, trophies, and currency. You want to have everything, right? I mean, whatever the new currency is for the Blitz, you're going to want to have tickets and you're going to want to have training. So the way it worked was that it was like 1,500. So I probably bought, I bought about five of them for like 6,000, 7,000 training, whatever the math equates to. And it was funny because so the first pack I opened a platinum player pack. It was five of them. And literally, if you weren't on at midnight on the dot, you probably didn't get it. You had about 30 seconds to buy five of them. I went in, backed out, went in, backed out. I bought five of them. And guys, they were so juiced. Everyone made, I made a million coins. So my first pack I opened, I got, oh, I went back out. I had all five of them. I got 87 overall Von Miller. Quick sell, quick sell for like 300k. Then I got 88 overall, whatever it was, uh, Aaron Donald, quick sell, like 400k, 30k, whatever it is again. I don't remember the price from last year. Then I got Justin Tucker, another 400k. I think at the end, I then ended up with like an 84, 85 Chris Harris, whatever it was. I ended up with like two other decent pulls. I quick sold all of my binder for like 1.2 million coins. You know how unreal that is? Guys, the best part of the Bliss promo was probably the limited time events. And then maybe like the next morning at like 8 a.m., we'll be like, a uh, thousand training for an 88 plus heavyweight card now it's like oh that's kind of dumb but no because 88 overall heavyweight cards quick sell for 2000 training so if you're one of the first person to buy all four of them or all five of them you make uh, two, a thousand to two thousand to three thousand plus training per each one you get. I was tripling my training. Guys, the Blitz promo is a great way to make coins. You got to be there at the times. I understand working school guys can't get to it, but that is one of the biggest components is limited time events. So just stay on the lookout for that. They will, whatever the intervals of hours they do it at, will be that time. Expect videos from me at all those hours. I'll try to get you guys the riddles done for the solos. And now the solos isn't a crazy ticket amount, right? It's going to be like maybe four tickets per solo. You have, you get 16 of them total, and you can do that three times a day. Maybe let's say 30 tickets a day, depending on what the end of the ending result is. And then by the end of the promo, you could have maybe 90 saved up tickets legitly. And last year, Tyree Kill was like 90 tickets. So it worked out perfectly. So you want to play in your limited time solos. Wait for those. The limited time packs are probably the most exciting part, guys. I'm telling you, you can make tons of coins, thousands, millions of coins off of that. And now to get, now let's wrap into the tickets, right? So it's going to be Blitz packs. Blitz packs are one of the biggest money grabs in the history of Madden ever. Blitz packs are like at around midnight, whatever, when it starts that night at Black Friday. $100 bundle and the topper will be like 60 blitz tokens and the packs will give you like three blitz tokens per pack So it'll be like 10 packs three blitz tokens per pack. So that's 30 plus the topper you got 90 blitz tokens That's Tyreek Hill right there, right? So that's great. And then There's the master, right? So the master last year was Deion Sanders, right? So to get the master Deion Sanders, you need CDs To get CDs you have to do sets. So to give you guys an example I'm gonna show you guys in forms of the Halloween promise. So you guys can have an idea So this is how the thing would look it'd be like most repaid man. It'd be a set for Frederick, a set for Sue, and a set for Ward, and then Master Deion Sanders, right? So Master Deion Sanders was its own set. So it'd be like, for Frederick, you needed 90 Blitz tickets. For Sue, you needed 90 Blitz tickets. And for Ward, you needed 90 Blitz tickets. So let's say to get 90 Blitz tickets, it would cost you like three bundles. Let's just say, right? So you have to buy three $100 bundles. So that'd be $300, right? Now you get all of them. Now when you do the set, you don't just get back, you don't just get the player, you get CDs. So 90 Blitz tickets will get you, let's say, Tyree kill last year and 25 CDs it's it was pretty much like every ticket converted into like a fourth of a CD so like if you put 100 tickets you get 25 CDs let's say so you get 25 CDs then for Sue you get another 25 CDs and more to get another 25 CDs so now you're 75 CDs you can't quick sell them by the way they're non-auctionable non-tradable nothing now then you go to the match say, oh how do I get Deion Sanders it costs a hundred and like 50 CDs so you're sitting there right so hold up if, if I so if I did those three top guys right and I'm still short like 75 CDs. So realistically, the way it worked was that you had to almost do every set. So like I said, there was like a bunch of sets. So there's like an 87 Lattimore, an 85 uh, Armstead. There's a 93 Tyree Kill, 93 Aaron Donald, and like a 94 uh, Patrick Mahomes, right? You'd have to do almost all of them to get enough CDs. So pretty much you had to get enough tickets to do all those guys to get enough CDs to put into the Sanders set. So let's say you need like 150 tickets, 100, uh, no, 200 CDs or whatever, 150 CDs for Deion Sanders. Essentially, what it would do is you'd have to get uh, like four times a ticket. You need like 700 tickets, 600 tickets, whatever. I'm exaggerating a little bit, probably. I don't know the exact numbers, but like I said, pretty much it's like I give you $10, you give me back two gold coins. You need 15 gold coins to get the uh, the nice car at, at the Chuck E. Cheese, right? It's like going to Chuck E. Cheese or like Dave and Buster. You give them real currency and you get back coins and you use those coins to get fake currency to get you know to get toys, kind of like that. It's pretty much. In essence, I think last year when I when it was all said and done, it cost like four hundred plus dollars, five hundred dollars worth of bundles and tickets just to get the Deion Sanders. That's like half a grand. That's like unreal. 
So that's my point, right? So to get the players in the Blitz promo, like the Tyreek, it's not too hard, right? One bundle, maybe some solo challenges, some house rules maybe, right? Not too hard. But then to get the Dion guys, it's a whole new level. You're going to have to get like $500 worth of bundles. I'm telling, That's what I'm saying. Like Blitz promo, the initial, like the one player you want, cheap, easy peasy, have fun with it, easy. But the, the master, it's a whole other level of currency we're talking about. I think I pretty much wrapped up everything. Remember, there's gonna be like three intervals per day with limited time solos you have to get done. There's gonna be a limited time packs in the store you wanna be on top of with global limits. Some might not even be global limits. Some just might actually be a limit per person. Like you get two per person. Some might be 10,000 in the world, buy as many as you can. Maybe a full legend pack for 8,000 training. You know, they do cool stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Maybe 8,000 training is a little excessive to begin with, but you get the point. And that pretty much wraps it up. I mean, CDs, tokens, tickets, whatever. You guys have that all covered. Packs. I think I got everything wrapped up. And remember, there's... Oh, and the players. The players are limited time, too. So, let's say um, at 8... At eight it'll be like Martian Lattimore Blitz, uh, Blitz set out between 8 and 4 p.m. At 4 p.m., Lattimore set, pushed back, new person in packs. Now it's Tyree Kill. So, pretty much every day, the overalls increase. So, they'll start at like 88 overall Blitz, and they slowly work up. And on the last day, they'll release the final 93 Aaron Donald, let's say, or 94 Patrick Mahomes. I could, I could honestly see Patrick Mahomes being the Blitz, but you guys pretty much got the point. I think that wraps up the whole thing. I hope you guys do enjoy the Blitz promo. I already did the Thanksgiving promo. When everything does come out and everything starts, I will be going over all this, so don't don't panic now if you're a little confused. But hopefully you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noting bell. Make sure to come join the family. We're so close to 12K. Come join now because you're not going to want to miss all the info when the promo obviously starts. And comment down below what you think of it or if you don't like it from last year. If you guys were here last year, let me know what you guys think. And also, make sure to smash that like button, boys. Hopefully, when we post this video, we can get thousands of likes, and you guys can smash it and help out the channel grow. So I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.